the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, I feel like zero connection to birds. Like, I don't want a pet bird. You right. Know? Right. Pet right. dog, pet cat, even pet weird weird pets, like pet horse. I get it. Yeah, I get it too. Yeah, but like a pet snake, the fuck are you doing? Oh, that's you got a monster that lives with you. This you swiss. got a monster that you feed. That's all that is. That is a heartless up. serpent. Yeah, they size you up. They size and the you only up. reason why they're not eating you is because you're not big enough, or they're not big enough. They're not big enough, yeah. and if they grow. But this is what I was talking about. The guy, the python hunting. Mm. I think in Florida now, you anyone can hunt a python, and you get you get a prize too. Like the, you get money, and you get serious money. Did I don't you know ever if it's like a video? thousand bucks. Or, what did you ever see the video? Of the guy, there's something wrong with his ceiling, and they're they're pulling the on the ceiling, and the pythons yes. were in the ceiling, and it collapses. Yes, and you see like three or four pythons yes. are in his fucking ceiling, and they're huge. 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 Like, where the fuck is that place? And Malaysia. how do I make sure I never go there? <laughs> where was it? Malaysia. Malaysia. Holy shit, Malaysia. The, watch this video. This is so crazy. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at the size Bro. of them. Bro. How many is there? There's two, three. There's the tail. That three. might be one. This is three all over three. 10 feet long. <gasps> three all over 10 feet long in the fucking ceiling. Even when you get them out, how are you going back to sleep? You how do you never, go back to sleep after that? You're never going back to sleep, and you're not getting them out. They obviously have nested up oh. there. Oh, my God. Look at the size Look at of the things. size of these motherfuckers. So they, they must have heard them scurrying around the ceiling. <sighs> they caught one in my development. A python? Yeah. How was, big was it? I think it was like 10 feet. Oh, my God. And that's like, that's, I mean. They found a record size one recently. I think it was 18 feet. I think it was 18 or 19 feet. And they think they, they get bigger. Like, they don't even know how big they ultimately get. This is not their environment, right? Did you see this video? What? These guys were... <sighs> Pulling out a snake? Oh, no, no, they, were, they got in trouble. Python. Something happened, like, it's at a pet store. Killing over like 300 that. pythons and a boa constrictor. But they did, like, they killed the she wrong one or something like that. One of these was killing. pregnant and had, like, 50 in it inside of it or something. So why are they killing these things? Uh, I, do they, I mean, they're in Florida and they're... Oh, so now he realized he killed yeah, the wrong, wrong one? one or something like that, yeah. Oh, but the, the, the longer monster. video of oh, like no. them killing it is pretty intense. I don't need to see that. I mean, the whole thing is weird that they allowed those as exotic pets, and then these people just let them go in the swamp. Right. <laughs> and then you just keep multiplying. Don't you remember that? Apparently, that's only a part of the problem, though. I thought that was the whole problem. Another part of the problem was that there was a wildlife research facility where they were studying pythons. And somehow or another, it got destroyed in a storm, and the pythons got out. Oh, uh, the uh, hurricane Andrew, I think. Like Her, in the yeah. 90s. Was that so? Yeah. So that's also part of the problem. So some of it is exotic pets, and some of it is these ones that they release from this research facility. But it's more mind-boggling to me how just a couple can turn into completely taken over. How they took that... over everything because they, they're invasive. There's the, nothing knows to fear them. But even when they're little, don't you think, I figure, what is the survival rate if the gator, if they're in the water with gators and you have um, bobcats? And... Yeah. Hurricane Andrews, that, it was that. That, was, that is part of, the, part of the python problem, mm -hmm. right? I think they don't know exactly what, you know, which percentage comes from the, or the pets from the 1970s and shit right. people let go. Right. Thousands of specimens of exotic species escaped their cages and enclosures during the passing of the storm through the South Dade County. State environmental inspectors reporting, reported 10 days after the hurricane, witnesses spotted hundreds of large snakes and non-venomous snakes loose. Mm. Wow, hundreds. And now those hundreds are half a million there's a half a million pythons they estimate so because burmese python invasion of south florida everglades populations of raccoons and opossums dropped roughly 99 percent and some species of rabbits and foxes effectively disappeared species that had long flourished here were being decimated by the aggressive newcomers wow wow that's amazing. Yeah, that's why it's it's a free for all now. So go ahead. Go it is get a free for all. You know what else they've go spotted in the Everglades? What? They spotted Nile crocodiles. So they don't know how they got in there. They don't know if someone's pet, but they had a, a kill on site order for Nile crocodiles. They don't know if it's a breeding pair. They don't know. 
you know, they just they they have spotted at least one Nile crocodile in the Everglades. Crocodile is a whole different animal. That's a whole different. It's a whole animal. different set. But I, I that's like a wolf compared <laughs> to a German Shepherd. Right. Yeah. I was in in Costa Rica, kids were just doing like a vacation, staying whatever, and I remember being in the water, in the beach. Yeah. Yeah, I was swimming around, and I didn't go the 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 beach dropped off where we were. It was like a river that let in the and the ocean was close, and it dropped by a little bit. And I mean, I was in there, I was touring around. I wouldn't go too deep, and I stayed close. And the next day, we went back there. It was a big freaking crocodile slide. No, he was banked on there. Yeah. And I went, oh my god! And I just couldn't believe how no one else was in the water. <gasps> yeah. Dude. Yeah. Could have been it. For it could have been it. Could have been it. See that? I'm safe in Florida kayaking. The we gators. went on a, um, a tour of uh, the crocodile habitat with my kids when they were, the youngest were like, they are probably like six and eight, somewhere around then. Yeah. And uh, it was so creepy, dude. I was so, like, every time they moved, like, get away from the edge, get away from the edge. <laughs> I was like, I was so hover parenting, which is like, and, and the kids are crazy. Like, I want to sit on the railing. I'm like, fuck, no, you can't sit on the railing. Right. Like, don't, yeah. don't do this. Like, if you go in that water, I'm going in that water too, and we're both going to die. <laughs> like, you, see, you see the I, guy? I can't, yeah. The guy who did that? What happened? The guy with, his, with the dog? Oh, yeah, I did see that. But that was a little one. That was a it was little a little gator. dog, but yeah. A little no, gator, I, too. It wasn't yeah. a big gator. The, and that guy did get his dog back. That guy's a fucking savage. That's I don't know a, how you did that with your kids. Move. You must have been freaking, freaking out, freaking out, freaking. And we saw them, and they slide into the water right in front of you. There was this alligator slide, yeah. or co crocodile slide rather. So you're on this uh, body of water, and then right where the bank is, you see the crocs sunning themselves, and then you see them slide into the water. It's so creepy. <laughs> it is creepy. It's so creepy because they are just killing machines, and you're you're in just this fucking boat. It's just a boat. You and know? you see them on land, too. You don't think yeah. they're fat. They can move on land. Oh, they move. They move quick. They move faster than we can. They can run faster than us. Wait, wait what is this? These guys were in their tent, and they turned. There's a post. It says hundreds of alligators or crocodiles behind them. I don't know. In their tent. I mean, so they, they camped on the beach? Yeah, they're hanging out. In like, Did you see the one on oh the my right? Oh, my God. Look at that. He looks outside his tent. Oh, my, oh see my all the eyes God. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. You literally camped at the spot where they go. What where they do? knew he was there and they were the going to go do eat them. <laughs> what the fuck do you do there? Do you leave? Do you leave? Yeah. What if you run into another group of them? Right. Like higher up the hill. Right. Imagine you're out of breath. You're running up the hill, running up the hill. And you get to the top and you realize there's more alligators and up there's, there. There's 10 times the amount. Yeah. And you're out of breath now. You, know, you can't run. I mean, you gotta do some research before you go there. I think. You know, what yeah. freaks me out more. Young kids, they're they're reckless. 